Good evening. Welcome to WSBI, your resource for success podcast program, where you get to meet inspiring women-owned businesses from across the country. And now for your host, Kimberly McLemore. All right. Hello, 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 and welcome to WSBI, your resource for success podcast program. I am your host, Kimberly McLemore, and tonight we have another phenomenal show to share with you. I have an amazing guest and also a very good friend and a partner in business. Uh, I have serial entrepreneur and best-selling author, Ms. Ashley Little. Ashley is a corporate professional by day and entrepreneur by night, two-time best-selling author, host of Authors on the Rise, speaker, 4X trader, vice president of operations, DMV Masterminds Group, host of Creating Your Seat at the Table, co-host of the Tammy Collins Marquee Radio Show, co-founder of Sweetheart Scholars Nonprofit, owner and creator of Creative Broadcasting, co-founder and owner of Talk Radio and TV Network, LLP, Vice President of Sales Marketing for Melanin People Magazine, Contributing Writer and Event Correspondent for Swag Her Magazine and Blogger and Media for Black Women Hustle. Ashley is also a proud member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated and a member of Alpha Phi Omega. She also believes in contributing giving back to the community and is a mover and shaker and believes her only competition is herself. She gives God the credit and her favorite scripture in Philippians 4, 13 is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Without further ado, help me all welcome on tonight's show, Miss Ashley Little. Hello, Ashley. How are you? I am doing awesome. I'm excited to be on the show tonight. Well, you know I'm excited to have you, and we have a lot to talk about tonight. And but before we really dive into all the other questions and the full interviews, why don't you just tell the listeners a little bit more about yourself and what you've been up to lately? Well, you did an awesome uh, reading of my bio, (laughs) so that has been pretty awesome. A little bit about me, you know. Of course, you're my business partner, so um, I've been traveling a lot in the last couple weeks, and you're ready to travel some more for some more speaking engagements and some book tours. But I, I, I love to um, definitely uh, collaborate and continue to create uh, more opportunities for other people and give back and reach back and pull forward. And I'm just excited to be here. Well, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you're here. And, you know, most people don't know that Ash is not in the area here. She's coming right out of Nashville, Tennessee. And the, and the first question we normally get when people realize that we are together is, like, well, how did you guys meet? We met just like this on social media platform. And then we finally got to meet each other a couple months ago. So it's just been a really exciting adventure. And, you know, we'll talk more about that here in a little bit. But I really want to kind of dive into, um, let's talk a little bit about the author side, because, you know, I've had you on another show and we've talked about your uh, current book, but you've got some other things really going on. So tell us a little bit about some of your books and some of the collaboration things that you have that you're doing on your own as well. Awesome. Well, super excited about some amazing things that are coming up. I had the Girlfriend Cold Volume 1 that came out in January. We hit best selling author. That was pretty awesome. So now I have I Survive, which comes out in April. The launch is in Indianapolis, and it's a pretty awesome book with some amazing women talking about different things that they survived in my chapter. It's Grace, right? And then I have um, the visionary author of my own book getting ready to come out called The Girlfriend Code, the Sorority Edition. And so I'm very excited about the, the great things that are about to happen with that book and the trailblazers that are a part of it. So I've been having some awesome things coming up, and it's been amazing. It's been an amazing journey so far. Well, you're definitely right. It's been uh, amazing, like I said, to see you do what you're doing. But I'm just really excited about you having your own collaboration with the Girlfriend Code on the sorority side. Now, you know, I'm not I don't know. I'm not into sororities. I don't know as much about them as most people do. But why don't you talk a little bit about the sororities that you're actually reaching out to and why it's important and how this book is coming together for you? Awesome. Well, we have a little bit of everybody. Of course, I'm a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. We have Alpha Kappa Alpha in the book. We have uh, Sigma Gamma Row in the book as well, uh, as well as um, Zeta Phi Beta. We're going to have them in the book too. So it's been a great ride. Um, some, like I said, there's some awesome trailblazers that are part of it. Um, our goal is to talk about the positive side of sororities 
and how girlfriend, you know, the girlfriend relationships that we build with them, you know, um, as far as branding and, you know, relationships outside of college and just, you know, relationships in corporate America and business. So we're going to be talking about all of that, giving a positive insights on how those relationships have continued to bond and grow. And we're just excited with all the stories that our ladies have already presented. It's going to be so amazing. I'm super excited for this journey in this book. It's going to be an amazing, amazing journey. And I can't wait to the uh, book signing because it's going to be awesome. Well, it sounds like it's going to be amazing. And like I said, I love how you talked about that. It's those continual, um, you know, relationships that you guys have, the bonds that you have had throughout the years. So it's going to be really great to see that come out. And so, you know, I definitely want to make sure I get my copy. Yes. <laughs> when it comes out. So let's move on just a little bit more and talk about, um, let's talk a little bit about the business side of you. You, I called you a serial entrepreneur for a reason because you have got several different businesses that you're either collaborated with um, or either you're doing on your own. And the one thing that always sticks out to me is I, I want to know more about the Fox X trader okay. or excuse me, the four X trader. Tell us about that. Oh, so basically, I trade the foreign exchange, the foreign exchange market. It's just like stock, but it's the foreign exchange market, right? So mm -hmm. you pretty much, you know, everything is done through your smartphone, right? So you control, you know, the money that you make through trading the foreign exchange market. And of course, there's a recruiting side of it too, where you can bring people on and build your team and trade. But it's been, a, you know, that's a, a, been an awesome opportunity. Some amazing people in 4X. Les Brown just joined 4X a couple, probably a couple months ago. So we have some amazing people that are part of 4X. And it, it's just, it's, it's been amazing, you know. For anybody mm -hmm. that loves taking risks and loves to trade and make money, you mm -hmm. know, 4X will be a good fit for you. Now, are you going to lose some money too? Yes, that's part of trading, right? <laughs> it's risk. Right. There's a lot of risk right. to that, but it's right. also rewarding. And mm -hmm. if you don't want to trade, you can just build, you know, bring people in and build your team as well. But you always should uh, have a balance where you're doing a little bit of both, you know, but it's been, a, it's been an amazing journey. I've been in Forex probably about a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you being that you're a part of this group, you actually teach others as well because you said it's a, it's an application that they can use software application so they can have yes. control of that. But do yes. you walk them through the process? Well, yeah, so we are um, the part of a different, you know, you have your different groups that you're part of. So, you know, part of the group, they do trading sessions, trade, you know, tr um, trainings we have for you. Um, we have different things that we have, swipe trades, you know, different things that you can do to learn it. Um, that's what it's all about. And you'll go through training before you actually start trading uh, trading live, too. Okay. Okay. You, the, you will get that training and that assistance that you need to be successful. And then if right. you want to build the business, too. And you'll also get training on that too. So it's pretty okay. amazing for anybody who want to, like I said, take risks and want to make more money and create that legacy. Why not do it? You only live once, you know? Um, I tell everybody, you know, I have stock as well outside of the foreign exchange market. Mm -hmm. But I tell mm -hmm. everybody, for exit, you control, you, you control it, basically. You know, you control what mm -hmm. you make. You control mm -hmm. how far you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty interesting because in this day and age, you know, there's a lot of people and I know that millennium group, you know, everybody's jumping into it, yeah. and, you know, and for most people who are, are I would say, before, you know, the 50, I say in their 60s and older, a lot of people don't really understand it, you know, don't understand foreign exchange or understand stocks and bonds, because back in the day, it's always, you know, all you need to do is save your money, you know, you don't need to do anything else. Yeah. You work hard and you stay and nothing wrong with that because even just the basic savings accounts, it amazes me how many yeah. people don't have a clue what it means to save, but then they can go out there and buy something and save for buying those tennis shoes, but then can't save money for their own future. So I think that's a really great positive piece that you have that you've been involved in and that you're continuing to help other people grow with that. So let's talk a little bit about uh, your new show. So you have you're creating your seat at the table and yeah. you are also the owner of um, the, uh, you're part of the owner of the, of, of, well, you actually own creative broadcasting. So look, so you have the show creative, Bro you have the creative broadcasting brand, which is your own talk. Uh, you have the creating your seat at the table, excuse me. And then of course you have creative broadcasting, which is your radio station. So yeah. why don't you talk a little bit about that because I think that we would all want to hear, and I'm going to bring up this quick flyer as you're chit chatting. So it shows and talks shows a little bit here about creative broadcasting. So why don't you talk a little bit? Awesome. About that. Well, 
where I have the show, Creating Your Seat at the Table, where I interview entrepreneurs, authors, speakers, and celebrities, and we talk about, you know, the different ways that they created their seat at the table, right? And I have people on that show that can give real-life strategies to my listeners to help them continue to create their seat and continue to build their seat and to actually help them go ahead and step out and start creating if they're not. So that's what that show is about, to get those real-life strategies. And I really have a – everybody that I have on that show is an expert in their field, mm -hmm. and they are very uh, – they've actually been there, done that, and they have transitioned to either full-time entrepreneurship or they're still doing both, but they have the strategies, and they're successful, and then they're executing. So those mm -hmm. are the people that I have on the show. Kim will be on there soon. Thank so, you. So, um, yeah, so I'm so excited about creating NCD. It has been an awesome ride. I've had some remarkable people on the show, and I'm just excited to see where it's going to continue to grow. And, of course, as Kim stated, I'm the owner and creator of Creative Broadcasting, and that platform is just to give, uh, you know, entrepreneurs, authors, and speakers a platform to build their brands and continue to reach back and pull forward and help people get the exposure that they're, that they're going to need. You, I have people that are seasoned under my brand, and I have people that are not. And we're here to help them. And, of course, I'm the co-founder and owner of Talk Radio and TV Network with Kimberly McLemore, where we own that network together. So I'll let her come in now, and we can talk more about that. <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm going to bring that up. So one of my favorite one of my favorite flyers and photos of the week. <laughs> So, yeah. So, you know, let's kind of dive into that. So the um, Talk Radio and TV Network LLP, we started this. Uh, we actually started the research back in 2018. We probably did about three or four months. And then we decided come January 2019, we came out with the boom. And, you know, a big part of my theory and the discussion about uh, my radio station, which is Vigilant Broadcasting. And then, of course, like Ashley's just talking, she has creative broadcasting. And because we're collaborating together, that's how we end up becoming a network. Yeah. So um, the network itself has been phenomenal. We have been boosted up very quickly at a, such a fast pace that it's almost been scary because we are definitely still learning the process. But we're also providing not just creating the seats at the table, but we're actually providing opportunity. Yeah. You know, people who really Really want to share this opportunity and realize that, you know what, I can expand my brand in a whole different way. So let's talk a little bit about what we have currently going on underneath the network. Well, we have some amazing things going on. We have our sponsorship, as Kim can attest to. We have our sponsorship. So if you want to, you know, sponsor under our, our uh, network, you can do that. We have some internship opportunities that are going to be coming up scholarship opportunities as well for high school and college students because we believe in reaching back and pulling forward and giving back to the community right and we exactly. also are teaching people how to own their own networks how to own their own radio or tv station how to you know host your own show so we have those opportunities too if you want to own your own show host your own show or own your own radio station or your own network we have those opportunities as well so we have so many opportunities and some more great things are planned for this year as well. So I'm just excited for where we're about to go, Kim, because it's been an amazing ride, giving God all the credit. Not going to say is uh, every anytime you're building something, you're going to have some bumps, of course, but that's right. part of the process, right? So, right. Um, I that's think right. great things ahead for us. That's right. Yeah. I mean, it's just been an inspiration too. I mean, you know, both of us have come from different platforms, which has been the phenomenal part about it is that, you know, um, I've actually have been on and you've been a co-host of the Tammy Collins Marquee radio show. And I had the opportunity to be on that show, but it's so, it was so funny how we both not even knowing or talking about the fact that we wanted to have our own own platform that we wanted to own and provide the same opportunities for other people. And here we are today, you know, giving that opportunity to those who really, really need to expand their brand and want to be able to reach the masses in a different way, because it is very difficult to try to be in the room all the time, right? So yeah. you have to find other ways to share your experience and, and share your services or whatever it is that you're providing uh, your products to people. To, but we found too that what a lot of people understand with podcasting, internet radio, it is becoming one of the number one sources and way of marketing. And it's consistently growing. And so, you know, we really are finding that more and more people are getting involved with that. So, you know, we really want people to continue to grow with us and we want people to think about having this opportunity. So as Ashley is, is still, um, you know, 
getting herself together here because I can you hear me, Ashley? I can hear you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Great. Yeah, okay. Great. great. So the other piece that I wanted to talk a little bit about um, is the advertising with us. So we do have this platform is so large that we have some great advertising and sponsorship packages that we would love for everybody to be a part of. Cause you know, if you are uh, advertising with us and sponsoring with us, guess what? We're not just sponsoring just with the two radio stations. You're actually going to be sponsoring and being a part of the whole network. And Ashley, talk a little bit about all the other great um, stations that we have on board with us. Awesome. We have some pretty awesome stations on board. We have direct impact, Broadcasting, which is with Tijuana Wilson, it's a pretty awesome station. Um, she's also talking about leadership, and that's what her platform is about. And then we have Black Educators Rock, and that's the educator side of it. It's, you know, they have over 155,000 people. It's a national nonprofit, and they have three stations under them. So I'm excited for what they have in store. And of course, we have our different shows, you know, um, Inspiring Nations. We have, you know, Angel Riley's show. I'll let Kim talk more about that. Um, then we have our leadership tidbits and conversations with Christina. So we have some great things, but we have some more surprises on the way. We do. We do. Now, um, I'm going to say something real quick. I can hear you, but can you see me? Because I'm, I'm you're, you're, you're stagnant on my other side. I want to make sure that everybody sees I your lovely face. I can hear you, but I can't, I'm waiting to, uh, I, can't, I can't see you, but I, I can hear you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop you back down for a second. And we're going to still keep talking. So, and then I'm going to bring you back up and see if that works. Because I want to make sure that we can see you. Okay, well, I've still got my stagnant picture. Uh, but we're going to keep talking because I really want people to hear more about what we have. So like I said, you can't see me, but I can hear you. Oh, my goodness. You know, technology, right? What would we do without it? Right. Okay. So at, at the end of the day, I, I guess the other thing too, I really wanted to kind of focus on is I want you to talk a little bit more about your other businesses. You have some phenomenal things. I want to know about you are the president and sales and marketing for Melanin People Magazine. Talk about the magazine side and talk about what you do in that world that you live in on the corporate side. Yeah. So I'm the vice president of sales and marketing for Melanin People Magazine. And it's a magazine that spotlights, you know, CEOs, startup companies, um, business, you know, owners, business professionals, and we're for our African Americans. Okay, so that's what we're for that the culture, basically, and mm -hmm. we're spotlighting people that are doing great things in the world, all over the world. And so I'm looking for people who are interested, in, you know, if they might want to continue to build their brand and need more exposure. We have many different packages to give you that exposure. Uh, we're looking for people to interview. We're looking for people to feature in our magazine. So if you're interested in Melody People Magazine, definitely reach out to me because we're looking for people to interview. We're looking for people to feature and to, to spotlight. That's what we're about. Okay. Yeah. Cause it's, it sounds like it's a phenomenal uh, magazine. So we definitely need to make sure that we provide that information um, th later on throughout the show again, so that people can reach out to you. I'm again, going to try to push you back down in the lobby and see if we can push you back up so we can see you, even though I know we can hear you. Uh, so maybe that'll help again. Cause or either we may have to have you dial back in so that uh, we can actually physically see you. Okay. I can do that too. Yeah. So while we're still talking, see if you can try to make that happen. And in the meantime, what I will do is that I'm going to consider continue talking about this show and the things that we have coming up as Ash is trying to get resituated here. Because as you know, like I said, our technology is going kind of crazy tonight on us. So I want to make sure that everybody can actually see Ashley because we have so much great information we want to continue talking about because we have plenty of time left on the show. So the one thing though I do want to focus on a little bit more is talking about some of the other shows that we have on our platform. Um, as Ashley was mentioning earlier, is that um, we actually have some phenomenal other shows that uh, if you have not already heard them and have not seen them, you know, you definitely want to make sure that you come on board and listen. And uh, we're going to bring, here we go. We got at Miss Ashley's coming back up. So we have like tomorrow night, I actually have the office corner that's going to be coming on. And as Ashley has mentioned, um, we've had uh, Miss Wonderful Angel Riley, who has the chronic, it's called the um, 
the uh, Chronicles of Doing Too Much. Yes. So there's another fa fantastic show that comes on. And our most recent one has uh, Cherie Simmons, um, who has uh, Underneath the Hat. So we've got some really great shows. And the thing that I love about our platform is that it's all talk show based. So yes. you're not going to hear a lot of music and all that because you can go to a lot of other stations and hear all that information there's nothing wrong with that but we really wanted to provide something unique and different and everything that we show too is all about um bringing in knowledge so if you're on our talk uh radio and tv platform through facebook uh, you will see in some of the other platforms you will see nothing but great information that we share and i think that's the part that we really wanted to be unique at is that we really want to provide valuable content right yes. that's what we're about you know so we always call it entertainment is at its best because it's not just about the entertainment of music but it's the entertainment and that and, and learning of what people are truly doing in our communities in and outside of our communities and across the world so now we're gonna now we got your beautiful face back on here thank you welcome back yes welcome back I was like, okay, we're stuck. I was like, yep, yeah, I love the stagnant picture, but you know, I always love the real you, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> but I want to talk more a little bit about you personally. So, you know, with you being a, a serial entrepreneur, as you talked a little bit, we all have our successes and we have our challenges. Talk a little bit about the challenges you have faced um, in and outside the corporate world and then within your own businesses. Well, you know, I think, you know, every successful person has um, failure. And I call it lessons, right? Because it's not failure, it's lessons where we all learn to do better the next time. So, um, yes, I, I've actually put it in some of my books. It was definitely my first one, which was Dear Fear. And I talked about what pushed me out into entrepreneurship. You know, some of the challenges that I faced in corporate America as a black woman in executive level positions going through discrimination in multiple seasons of that. And then, of course, just some things that I dealt with with my family, you know, my father battling cancer and, you know, mm -hmm. going through that and just different, you know, you know, relationships and um, learning that, you know, sometimes it, when people are, are walk away to let them go and learning to make sure that you're I'm aligned with the right people in the right circles, because that, those things are just so important. So, yeah, on, on my journey to, you know, as I continue to grow, you know, I have had some challenges. Yes. But I think we all do, right? It's part of the process. We have to understand that rejection is a part of the process and that we have to keep going. But I'm so thankful going through different seasons in my life that did not feel good because I, I had one of the hardest things I had to learn to be okay with was being uncomfortable because I've had some very uncomfortable moments, right? So, right. Um, but I had to learn to get back up, dust myself off and know that it's a bigger purpose. And I will be honest, going through the different challenges that I went through in corporate that I went through in corporate America, because I'm still there. But I have went through some seasons where it pushed me out into entrepreneurship. So I'm mm -hmm. thankful for the push. I'm thankful for you know the rejection. I'm thankful for being uncomfortable because that's really what pushed me out to start building my my own and wanting to retire early. And then of course in my businesses, of course we know entrepreneurship is not always roses, right? Right. So it is not, right? It is not. That's right. And, you know, mm -hmm. working in corporate America, and Kim can attest to this, and being an entrepreneur, that's a, it's, that's a lot of work, and it's not for the week, right? It's not that's for right. the week. <laughs> and I've had some awesome moments, and I've had some moments where I'm like, okay, I, I, I have to fight on my knees, okay? And have <laughs> I passed all the tests? No. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that I have not passed all the tests that somebody had to take back over. But that's part of the process, and I had to learn that. You know, anytime you're building things, anytime you're creating, anytime you're doing something great, new levels are going to bring new devils, right? So Absolutely. I'm so thankful Absolutely. that I'm preparing myself for that. Now, some hits have been some hard hits, but I was, I'm was i not a quitter. I'm not a quitter. So mm -hmm. um, it has been a great journey though, thus far, though, outside of the, um, you know, different bumps in the roads, but that's part of the process. So I embrace the pain and I embrace all the bumps because that's what's going to help me get there. Uh, you're absolutely right. And and I like what you're saying is that you, you, even though everything you've gone through, you have never given up and that's the key, yeah. you know, and as you said, that nothing is perfect in life, whether it's no. personal, or whether it's professional. And if you don't learn by those either mistakes that you're making or what other people have put you into that you weren't prepared for, like you said, that total uncomfortableness, you know, you, you, you're never going to be able to handle anything in life. And as we know, being in business, 
uh, it's always going to have some uncomfortable parts to it. And, you know, as we've even learned, you know, that everything we're learning about, not so much about what we're doing as a business together, it's about all the pieces that are on the outside that are coming in yeah. <laughs> that, you know, we have, are definitely in front, are, are definitely facing a lot of challenges, but those challenges I think is what makes you stronger and also makes you wiser because now, you know, the, okay, this is the next step. This is the next layer, this next level that we, we have. It's kind of like lasagna, you know, it's one layer at a time and you yes. just, you continue to keep growing um, as you're going through the process of being an entrepreneur. But if there was one important thing that you really wanted to share with anyone who wants to come into the business, new or existing, what would that be? What I would tell them is to embrace the process. All of us, enjoy, you know, we already talk about the journey, but we got to embrace the process, embrace that being, you know, feeling uncomfortable, embrace those things because um, it's for a bigger purpose. So I would tell anybody, embrace the process. The process, that's the most important part of the whole journey. That's the most important part of the next level is the process that you go through to get there. But if you quit in the process, you're going to miss your destiny. So Absolutely. Say embrace the process. I love that. I love that. Embrace the process. That is key word for the night. If you yes. leave with nothing else, you learn nothing else out of this conversation tonight, yes. embrace the process. And that's with everything that you do in life. It's yes. not even really just about the business because as we all know, if we don't understand who we are, you, you have no way to know how to move forward. So like you said, it's not just the journey. It's the other pieces that come along with that journey. So I definitely like that. That's great advice. So tell the listeners how they can get a hold of you, uh, where we can find your books. If you have any upcoming events, share all that information with us. Also, you all can definitely follow me on Facebook at Ashley Little on Instagram. I underscore Ashley A Little. If you would like to purchase books from me, just reach out to me. As Kim can tell you, anybody that follows me that's listening, I'm always, uh, you know, available on Facebook where you can reach out to me and we can definitely discuss that because I do have personal signed copies of all my books, right? And then, of course, you can there on Amazon as well. And um, I have some great things coming up. I'm being in Memphis, Tennessee this weekend. Reaching mm -hmm. back and pulling forward, pouring into our younger generation once again from ages four to 18 years of age. So I'm so excited about talking about self-image to them this weekend. And then I have some other great things that are coming up, some more book tours and book signings and launching my book. So I'm just excited for what's to come. Talk Radio, like I said, we're continuing to grow. So stay tuned for the awesome things that we have that are coming up, too. That's right. All right. So that is that is phenomenal. And like I said, for all of those who are listening, there's no reason why you cannot reach out to Miss Ashley. If you if you can't figure out how to spell the name, it's on the screen. Ashley Little, A-S-H-L-E-Y Little. It's very simple. She's a phenomenal woman. Um, I'm so proud to be a part of um, this journey with her on the Talk Radio TV Network thing. I mean, we're, like I said, it's booming. And so it's just been great to have you on board this evening. I thank you again. Do you have any last words for our listeners and for our viewers? Absolutely. I'm just going to say thank you for the opportunity, Kim. Once again, thank you for the opportunity to interview me tonight. I'm excited about being on the show. It was a great interview. Loved it. And I would just tell anybody, just, you know, never, never quit. Just don't quit. No matter what comes your way, don't quit. You know, I don't know one successful person that has quit it that was successful. So no matter how hard it gets, just keep fighting. I always tell myself, you're going to take me out. Then you got to take me all the way out. So I look at myself as bulletproof, okay? Even though I might get some hits. But I'm not gonna quit. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Because, like you said, the biggest competition, as I read earlier, as you no. said, is yourself. Yes. All right, absolutely. So, again, thank you for coming on tonight for the show. It's yes. been a pleasure. I love you much, and thank we you. will be talking soon. So, have a good evening. Yes, thank you. Thank you. All right. So as we just seen, I had a phenomenal guest on board this evening. That was this, as I call the serial entrepreneur and best-selling author, Miss Ashley Little. If you did not learn anything from this show tonight, 
all just one takeaway is that you never give up. Make sure that you continue to move forward in, in your journey. Embrace the journey. Realize that nothing is perfect, but at the end of the day, you will be a successful individual with whatever it is that you're providing, whether it's a service, your products, whatever it is that you decide to do that, that you define what success is for you. Now, what I would like to do before I end this program is I want to make sure that if you would like to be a guest on the WSBI Your Resource for Success podcast show and program, please uh, just do one little thing. All you have to do is send a simple uh, short bio uh, pic and a business logo. This is very important to me, okay? And make sure that you send it to this following email address, which is kmm 123 mclemre at gmail.com. Again, that's kmm 123 mclemre at gmail.com. Uh, please make sure that you uh, provide me the proper information. And if you would like to be a guest, I can get you on the show because I'm always looking for great new guests to, to talk about their, um, share their experiences and uh, talk about some other things that they can provide as resources and as an entrepreneur. And again, like I said, I do appreciate you coming on and sharing some time with me this evening. I will be back next week with another amazing guest. Make sure that you follow us on iHeartRadio and Spotify. So if you missed the show live this evening, you can go back and listen to the replay at any time. But until next time, you all have a wonderful evening. Good night. Good night, everyone. We will be back next Thursday evening at 7 p.m. Follow us on Spreaker, www.spreaker.com slash user slash WSBI. View our new WSBI website anytime at www.wsbillc.com and on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Instagram.